Now, to get down to some analysis, which is actually a new feature of my reviews, t-shirts will be on sale afterwards. The Straussists made this film just to better the awfulness, as you'll know if you've seen my other review of Alien vs. Predator, of the first film. And I think they did a damn admirable job. It was one of their first films, if their actual first film. And they just set out to do justice to one of the franchises they love, which I think they did pretty well. It gets back to the roots of what Alien and Predator should be, beating the living crap out of each other. And there's some scenes which really, really do remind you that this series could still be completely and utterly awesome. However, that being said, I know why this film really annoyed some people, and that would be the Alien fanboys. This film was made to please the Predator fans. The Predator is completely dominant throughout this film, and I personally think that balances up the first Alien vs. Predator, where the aliens were given more credit than the Predators. So I think it's only fair that the Predators should get their film. Uh, the other thing I really find slightly annoying with this film is the fact that they did try to homage the other franchises. Therefore, this film is littered, and I say littered, I mean packed, with references to all of the other films in the franchises. To possibly the extent that this film just becomes one homage after the other, which does detriment from your viewing. But it was worth it, just for that bit at the end where he said, get to the chopper. I was only one of the few people in my cinema that got that, and I laughed my ass off. Quite a few of the other people looked at me not understanding what I was laughing at, but I did, and any other Predator fan will too. I look at your screens now because I'm uh, going to put in some credits right now, so you can see the scores I give each individual section. And time for another new section, called Go See This, Don't See This. Go see this film, if you hated the first AVP, as this is different enough to probably keep your attention. Go see this film if you like Predators, because this film makes a complete badass out of the Predator. Don't go see this film if you like the first Alien vs Predators, this is too different and you probably won't like it. Don't go see this film if you, don't, if you like Aliens, because they get trampled over in this film and it's a bit uncharacteristic. So overall I'd give this film 7 out of 10. You can see the, uh, the different scores they give for each department in the film going up now. It's also any So, yeah, I'd like to see the Alien vs. Predator franchise go into space next, more follow the comic book route. I mean, the ending of this film certainly left it open, but who knows what's going to happen. So, here's a trailer for what's coming up next. The world has come to its knees. Only two people can save us. In the film, critics have billed. One of the films I have recently seen, American Ninja 4, coming soon on Sabon's channel. Wait, 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 I never agreed to this. This is in the IMDB bottom 100 for crying out loud. Guy, go and make a better trailer. And if it isn't, there be alligators waiting at your houses. I know where you live. <laughs>